So here we are. Tuesday, March 27th, if I'm not mistaken, 9.48 a.m. in Canada. Anyways, here is my Switch, and as it seems, I was only able to play one-on-one -on -one when it came to NBA 2K18 because as it states on the game, an internet download and micro SD card is required, so you can only play one-on-one, -on -one, like one team versus the other. That's all you get. You don't get the main menu, nothing. As soon as you boot up the game with the cartridge, straight to one-on-one, -on -one, pick a team, and that's it. And then when you beat that, you go back into the same thing, pick a team, and do it over and over and over again. So you paid, you know, $40, $80, whatever it is for your game, to play the same thing over and over again. But I found a method on my outdated Switch that seems to be working for me to get the game running. Because so I wasn't able to do any of this before. We got doubters, so I just wanted to show I'm actually making a pro. And for those who want to know what version I'm on, because the proof has to be there, we're going to make sure we resolve all the doubters 4.1.0. Now, just for a quick example that I have two other games in front of me that I am going to be updating on the Switch, the versions they are on are as follows. Dragon Ball Exonoverse 1.07. I don't know what the latest is. I'm going to have to double check that later and I'll let you guys know. But from my understanding, I don't think either. Look at that. 1.0 on that. Exono Blade Chronicles. And I'm sure 1.0 is not the updated version. I'm sure there's an update for that. So, again, I'm going to be updating both those two games Besides NBA that I just did. I did NBA just now updated it to the latest version. It's even taken up space on my SD card and everything. Um, and I was also able to get my 128 gigabyte micro SD card formatted. So it would be recognized by um, my Switch 2. I'm going to verify my number again. I'm on 4.1.0. And I want to verify that I was also able to get my SD card working, which was a 128 gigabyte without updating my switch. I'm just gonna show that, hold on a second. Don't wanna show something specific on my switch just yet, but data information, as you can see, my, it's a 128 gigabyte, showing 100 gigabytes free, but I was able to get that formatted outside of the system and recognized. So I just purchased the switch two days ago for all the doubters, you can doubt, whatever. A how-to method will come, depending on if I speak to the right people within the hacking community or the Switch community to see if it's best to release the method now or at a later date, depending on what's best for everybody. Not just for myself or anything like that. For everybody. If it's more beneficial to release this method later on, then we'd rather do that. All the best, and I will have another video of an update on me updating Dragon Ball and Xenoblade real soon, today. It just, it takes a little while. So give me time to get all this done. Anyways, I'm gonna get back to setting up my player on NBA because I wasn't able to do this before and I'm very happy and I'm sure many other people would be happy to actually play a game such as NBA, which will not work unless you get it updated. All the best, peace.